How long have you been running Pogo Stuck? Uh, since about like November 2019. So, a couple months, six, seven, eight months. That's actually a long time. But, uh, yeah. So basically, here's here's my Pogo Stuck story. Let's get a better song. Alright, so if you don't know, yeah, kind of story time. For those of you who don't know, mo most of you probably know. Yeah, so I saw Ludwig, the first video I saw from Ludwig was, I was thinking about playing Pokestuck myself, and I looked it up on YouTube and found Ludwig, basically. And I was like, I saw he beat it in 78 hours, and I was like, 78 hours, I could, I could do better than that. Like, 78 hours is like, a lot of hours. So I got the game, and I beat, my first ever run, having never played the game before, came in in about 10 and a half hours. Which was like, is like one of the fastest first map, like, like from, from never playing the game to finishing the first map, it's one of the fastest completion time. According to Super Q and like Valmerix. Valmerix was, was actually in my stream at that time, back when I had like no viewers. And he was, uh, I don't know, he was, he was like, he would like hang out sometimes and just like give me tips and, and shit like that. So I beat it in 10 and a half hours and I was like, I was like, well, that was quick. Like, I kind of want to keep playing this game. It's kind of fun. So I kept going and I ended up PBing like every single day, like just like getting faster and faster and faster. Eventually, I got sub 10 minutes and then looked at the leaderboard and I saw Ludwig at like 7 minutes 52 seconds. So I was like, I could beat that. So I went ahead and I beat it. And then I saw him in my game, right? He was in my, he was literally, he was actually in my game. He's doing like the God Gamer Gauntlet where you play Pogo Stuck, then you play Jump King, and then you play Getting Over It. Back to back to back. And like, you try to like speed run it basically. You try to get his, the fastest time on all three. So I went and I donated it to, to get the text to speech. And I was like, Yo, what's up? I saw you in my game, like, at Pogo Stuck. Uh, I just beat, like, I beat your PB, by the way. Like, what are you gonna do about it? And he was like, my game? What do you mean, my game? Like, like as in, like, me, my game. And he was like, you're in my old stomping grounds, buddy. Let me know when you get, like, top 10, then come talk to me. No, I'm not gonna beat your run. If I wanted to beat my time, I wouldn't try to beat you. I would try to beat the best. All right, I don't shoot to beat 115. I shoot to beat first. I have no interest in beating your run. If you get top 10, hit me up. If not, stay out of my DMs or my Twitter mentions. But the top 10 he was talking about was his rubber band world, like uh, not world record, rubber band top 10 placement. Like when you're paired with someone, but he played, he got that when the rubber banding first came out. So he was like one of the first people to play it and beat it, which is why he got top 10. It wasn't an actual like top 10. It got, I got beaten many times since. So I was like, okay, I'll take on your challenge. Sure. Why not? So I just started fucking grinding this game so hard. Four months later, after Chris, I was literally playing this game through the holiday season, through new years and everything. Four months later, February 25th, I get 12th in the world and I'm beating myself up. I'm like, fuck dude, I'm so close. I'm like a couple seconds off, I, like beat myself. I'm, I'm like so pissed. I like just start, just stopped streaming. Uh, cause I failed. And then, uh, literally the run after I get 12th place, I bank top 10. Let's go! I got it! I got it! Let's go! And I go on Ludwig's stream, I'm freaking out, I'm like, I did it, babe, I did it! And this is what he says to me, this is what he says. He goes, you know, Dan, I think the real reward here is the journey you went through. And not what I can give you, but what you gave yourself when completing, when when rising up to the challenge. And chat's going, scam week, scam week, scam week. I did it. You challenged me to get top 10 in the world and I did it, baby. Check Twitter. Your boy isn't so dog shit anymore. I took on your challenge and pulled a total level move. GGS would love to make a vid together or be friends or a VIP. I don't know. Dan. I think you'll realize that it was all worth it because the journey, not for some silly VIP pixels, some fake friendship online. Yo, you think what really mattered I could do was putting in the work, nice. input progress, output success. Also, I'm scamming you. But he does nothing about it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I wasn't too beat up about it. It was, it was kind of fun, like a funny clip I like put in videos. I like clickbaited the title, like Ludwig scammed me. And I moved on. I kept making like other content. About a month later, in March, Ludwig, uh, he's doing a Reddit recap, and he gets a Twitch donation with a link for a Reddit post because this guy didn't get enough upvotes to get into the Reddit recap, so he just linked it in a donation. Ludwig's like, "All right, fine." He clicks on it. He watches the video. Some guys like calling him out 
to challenge him to like i don't know some a bunch of like bullshit challenges like gaming challenges and the stakes were like uh, i forgot what the stakes were he stated but they were like they were like so stupid like they were like like if the, if the kid lost he would have to do basically nothing and if Lud lost he would have to like do this like fucking basically a shout out kind of sort of thing i think so Ludden was like no like fuck that i'm not doing that shit listen buddy i'm not doing that and then he was like if you want to challenge me do it right do it like this guy dan corona and he shouted me out so I think I have a YouTube video about it. I'm not gonna ban him because I think he's a cloud chaser. Because I don't think cloud chaser is even a great term. I think wanting to collab with people you like is fair. I just think most people don't put in the time to their own shit before doing that. True. He's got a point. There's one guy who's done it pretty well. Let me, oh. Uh... This is it. I think this is it then. Dan Corona. Oh, that's me. That's my voice. Dan Corona, I've been seeing this dude for fucking days. Oh. Yeah, look. He does not have the uh, most followers I've ever seen. But he's got a hundred. Hell yeah. He's start, and he's been posting consistently. Look at that. He was kind of posting garbage randomly for a while. <laughs> he challenged me to pogo stuck. He did it. And then ever since then, it's just been grinding it. Look at that. That's a great amount of YouTube videos. Great job, Dan Corona. Thank you, Ludwig. Uh, you guys can check him out. I've never watched one of his vids that isn't calling me out directly. But <laughs> <laughs> then I, I gained like 200 something subscribers on YouTube. I gained a couple Twitch follows. It was like, it was crazy. I, like, I got the clip. Uh, like I, I made a video about it. It, it blew up a little bit. I don't know, well, it didn't blow up, but it got views, which was good for me at the time. Like, like any views is good views for me. So yeah, then I, I was like, I, I did it. That was it. I, I didn't really play Pogo, honestly, in between getting top 10 and map 2. I didn't play it that much. I was streaming other shit. I was, I was doing other games like Jump King. I was like, uh, and this quarantine hit. I was playing like Valorant and everything with the boys. And then Super Cool announces that map 2 is coming out in June. And we're all like... And we're like in the Discord, in Jedi Jake's Discord, we're talking like, oh, like I'm gonna get world record, like all you know, just like friendly chatter. And Val comes up with the idea to make a bet. So we all, all the top runners in the Discord that want to participate, put in about twenty dollars, ten to twenty dollars, depending on where where you are on the leaderboard. And the winner, whoever beats map two first out of everyone, out of the people in the Discord, got the money. So I would practice the week before this, the week before map two dropped. I was playing Pogo on stream, like, or probably not on stream, sometimes on stream, like every night, basically. I was just like getting, getting, getting the muscle memory back, you know, getting, getting a feel for it. Map 2 drops, about seven-ish hours in, I think, Val wins the money. So we lost the race. Val did it. Yep, Val did it. But it's not over, because we still got to beat the map at the end of the day. So 11 hours in, I'm about, I think I got to like, uh... The beginning of gravity orbs, I didn't actually get in the gravity orb. And I called it, I, I called it, I went and ate dinner, I went and took a shower. I was really tired, but I came back to stream to finish the map. And about 2 hours and 45 minutes into the second stream, we beat it. Ludwig had, I was in Ludwig's game again, but in this map, in map 2. Ludwig had seen my name in the top left, and was like, decided to make a moment out of it, where he said like, maybe I should leave the, uh, the poker stuff to the young dogs. Basically. And he mentioned me. He said he started talking about me. Maybe I'm an old dog. If you guys look at the top left of your screen, you'll see Dan Corona, number two. Unfortunate name, but that's what God gave him. At almost 900 meters. If you guys don't know Dan Corona, friend of the stream, started to play Pogo Stuck just to beat me. That's the only reason that man started to play Pogo Stuck. I think he's, you know, admittedly a little too into Pogo Stuck at this point of his life, you know. But hey, you know, everyone's got their thing. And now look at him fly. Maybe I'm an old dog. I got the youth into it, you know. At that point, my viewers skyrocketed. I was at Dragon Jumps, I remember. My viewers skyrocketed. I was like thanking people for follows. I was like talking to chat. I was like, what's up? Had like 150 viewers. I decided to fucking put my head down and start playing. I literally get to the last section, peak 250 viewers, and I fucking nailed it. 
I beat the game with 250 viewers in chat from Ludwig. It was the craziest. It was the craziest moment. I don't know. I did. I don't know how I didn't crack under the pressure of having that many people watching me because I've never had that many people watching me ever. But it was like it was crazy. It's in the YouTube video. You'll see chat going off when I beat the game at the end. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Let's go, baby. Twitch.tv slash Dan Corona. From then on, I just started, I just kept running. I, uh, I don't know. I, ever since we beat the map for the first time, I just started going for speed runs. I don't know. Me and Val have been like talking. Jedi Jake has been talking. We've been scouting the leaderboard. That's when I joined when it was like 200 plus viewers. Yeah, facts, facts. And today we just got lucky, boys. We just got lucky. A little 510 action. I think I have about 200 hours total in this game, which is not a lot compared to the other like speed runners. Literally 204 records. So at 10 hours, I beat the game for the first time, map one. At 100 hours, I was top 10 in the world on map one. And at 200 hours, I got the world record on map two. How many hours did it take? 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 Let me know. Let me know how many hours it took. It took three hours. Three hours. Remember when we voted? One day, one week, one month? Three hours it took. Three fucking hours. Oh my god. I told you. I told you. Japan goes hard. I said it. I fucking said it. <laughs> I just- I read your chat message. Wait, why is your crown not blue? And then I looked up and I was like, no fucking way. Three hours. Literally three hours. And he got sub five too. God damn it, Japan. You can't have me- look, can't really have it for a day. They can't let me have it for a day. They had to go and beat it in three days. In three hours, I mean. Not even a day. I can't even go to sleep thinking I'm world record holder. I can't even go to sleep thinking I'm world record holder. They already took it from me.